Hi, I'm Holly. Welcome to another episode of Holiday Any Day. You know, it's such a beautiful day here in San Diego. I thought, why cook inside? Let's cook outside. I, if you've seen my previous cooking videos, you've seen that we make pizza dough and we have a pizza oven and do pizza in our pizza. But there's lots of things you can do in your pizza oven. There's no reason just to leave it for only the pizza. So today I decided we're going to make an appetizer. It's one of the appetizers we had at our recent pizza party that is on our Holiday Any Day website. So what we're going to start with is a couple pounds of salmon. You can see I've already chunked some of it up. Chunk the rest of it up. Just cut it into even little bite-sized cubes. I'd say one or two bite cubes. Keep it simple. You can have your fish guy take the skin off the back if you're not comfortable doing that. So we'll cut into our little chunks. And then I created kind of a tasty spice rub. It has sweet paprika, thyme, salt, pepper, and brown sugar. Brown sugar always goes wonderful with salmon. It's nice and caramelized. Okay, so we got that. What we're going to do is we're going to toss it. Now, I don't know how many of you have used wooden planks. So I use, you can use a wooden plank on the barbecue, which I've done very many times, but you can also use it in the pizza oven. You do have to remember to soak it first, because if you don't soak it, it's going to catch on fire and get totally burnt up, and you don't want that to happen. But what we'll do here, we've already soaked our plank, as you can see, and we also have an interesting thing called a plank saver, which keeps it from burning up too much, which really, I think, is more appropriate for the, the grill. But the pizza oven is kind of handy because it makes it easier to get in and out of the pizza oven. So as you can see, we're just tossing the salmon. You can easily do this, I don't know, a couple hours ahead and throw it in a Ziploc bag. Or not, whatever works for you. It's fine either way. So we're gonna do that. Then all we're gonna do is take these little chunks and place them on our plank. It's tricky because sometimes the salmon is, you know, little thin pieces like that, and you just have to play it by ear. Try to keep them about the same size so they cook at the same speed. This is a major hit. Everybody loves this. And you know, if you're going to be having a pizza party too, where you're going to have a lot of cheese and a lot of dough, you know, maybe keep it a little lighter beforehand instead of cheese and crackers. So we'll start with that. So what we're going to do with this, I've soaked the plank like I mentioned. My pizza oven's been heating up for a while. It's about 600 degrees right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to place it into our pizza oven. And what I like to do is maybe slide it in here. We'll leave it close to the front because with the pizza oven, everything's it's super hot in the back and much cooler in the front. So we'll leave it in the front, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes, and then we'll spin it to then evenly cook the whole thing. This has been in three or four minutes. In fact, the board, you can probably hear it, it's starting to snap and crackle. Something's happening. As you can see, look how yummy these are. It is a little bit challenging maneuver. And I'll tell you, that's why this little holder, that's why this little holder works well because it's easier to deal with. There we go. You can also get a hot glove, which I have, which maybe I need to put on. Isn't that put me back around? Okay, we'll give them another three or four minutes. Okay, it's been another three minutes or so, and I think our guys are ready to pull out of the oven. Let's check them out. I find that sometimes it seems a little silly, but. I'm going to use the pizza peel because it gets so hot in there and it's a little easier to maneuver it out. Give it a go. Ooh. The brown sugar starts to caramelize. So tasty. Of course you can find this recipe on our website, holidayanyday.com. Oh, it smells wonderful. You can smell the plank, the cedar plank. You, also, you can also get maple or maple or cedar or apple, I forget. There's a few different ones. I to say, I would take a bite, but it's awfully hot right now. So, highly recommend you make this recipe. It's fresh, it's light, it's healthy, it's total paleo, you know, whatever you want to say. And uh, just, just give it a go. It's easy breezy.